Hi guys, it's been a long time, I know. Um, thank you for the people who have sent me messages, just uh, checking on how I've been. Um, I've been okay, just not making videos, um, just because it, it takes a lot out of me. Um, and I know it takes a lot of, out of other YouTubers who make this kind of content as well. Um, but considering certain things I've been thinking about, I do want to make just uh, one video out of the blue. Um, and hopefully it will be of some help to some people. Um, as always, I hope it doesn't come true. I pray it doesn't come true. Um, but the warnings are the warnings. And I make them for the specific purpose of trying to alert people to the potential of these scenarios. Um, rather than, you know, them actually happening. It's a potential. So it's something to keep your eyes open for in case it does happen. Um, a lot of people have messaged me about the La, La Cumbre Vieja volcano, otherwise known as La Palma, on the Canary Islands off the west coast of Africa. Um, yes, I did make a number of videos regarding that volcano erupting. Um, as of yet, the scenario that I've talked about hasn't occurred where the volcano collapses, generating a tsunami, um, but there is still the possibility of that happening. Uh, especially while the volcano is erupting. So I'm just going to make this quick video. Um, I'll also talk a little bit about the um, weather conditions that are going to be hitting the east coast of the United States over the next coming days. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly get started. So for those of you who aren't aware, the IPEC GOAT 2 video appears to depict um, future scenarios. Um, none of them good we've got the possibility of massive earthquakes in the indian ocean and other places volcanoes erupting like la cumbre vieja kilauea mauna loa mount etna stromboli um mount etna and stromboli are in italy mauna loa and kilauea in hawaii and obviously the la cumbre vieja volcano which is uh, erupting at the moment um there's also stock market crashes, uh, talk of war, um, missile launches, uh, particularly a missile launch uh, over or to the United States. Um, so many different scenarios we've talked about, submarines approaching um, the east or east and or west coast of the United States, um, power outages, uh, widespread power outages, um, and, you know, many other things that we've talked about over the number of years that we've been looking at this video. Um, so that's basically the basics of what the iPad Go 2 video appears to be about. There's other things hidden in there, like hidden images, which I've revealed in uh, past videos, um, hidden messages in forms of Morse code, which is encoded into tap dancing. Um, that's a thing, if you didn't know. Um, there's hidden messages reversed. Uh, hidden messages um, contained within the audio of the actual video, which is why I don't tend to play it a lot. There will be a little bit of play in this video, um, just to kind of uh, show some motion, um, but not much. I tend to do screenshots or stay on a static screen while I talk so that I'm not subjecting myself or other people to what could potentially be uh, subliminal messaging through in audio in audible audio um so with that said and out of the way i'm just gonna quickly well try and be quick i always say quickly and it ends up being a bit longer than i want it to be but i'll try and quickly do this video um as i said it's not going to be a wide ranging video just concentrating on some of the basics so the first thing i want to talk about is the apple here the apple appears to depict a volcano on it um, erupting, which I can just draw on there, uh, lava pouring out of the side or the bottom of the volcano. Um, and this has been connected to Kilauea when it erupted. I think it was in 2018. Um, also with Mount Etna when it erupted, I think that was last year or 2019. Um, and also again with Cumbre de Vieja 
or La Palma, which is currently erupting now. Um, I hope you guys can see that on your screen, how they've drawn the volcano on there. I've often taken this to mean a volcano um, on an island, which the apple represents. And in terms of the foot here, it's connected to an image of Obama. And Obama is from Hawaii, so that's where there's a possible connection to the Hawaiian volcanoes. Um, the foot next to an apple, which could represent the island with a volcano on it, is also reminiscent of Italy, the country itself being shaped like a foot or a boot. Um, but also with La Cumbre Vieja, there is the kind of birtherism um, storyline where people say that Obama wasn't born in the United States, but born in Africa. So again, you know, this volcano just off the west coast of Africa, <clears throat> excuse me, may be significant. Now I'm just going to play the video a little bit because I do want to get into um, potential dates for this. Um, just before I do, we um, we appear to have what is this white semicircle, half semicircle on the ground, uh, which appears to depict a tsunami wave. Um, you can see the fine lines that they've drawn into that white line. And uh, let me just bring it up again. And uh, just at this part here, you can see how it sort of is jagged at the edge. So it appears to be like cresting or crashing. Um, and that seems to be connected to the part of the video. I'm going to play it now. The audio might be a bit loud. So if you've got the volume up, I suggest you turn it down um, just for a second while I let the video play. So as the apple splits, it splits along the volcano, which is depicted on the apple. And we've interpreted that to mean um, a collapse of the volcano, a splitting of the volcano, um, a portion of it going down into the water that surrounds it, um, which then generates the tsunami wave that is kind of attached itself to now. As you can see, that second half of the apple seems to be kind of connected um, to the actual tsunami wave here. Now within the apple, there's uh, two seeds on one side and one seed on the other um, in the middle of it. I'll get the drawing out again. In the middle, we can see that the roots and the shadow of the roots from the seeds um, create the number eight. Now, in the video, um, you can check on my channel, George Bush, in the beginning of the video, when he's talking at a certain point, it appears that he is saying August, um, and that's reversed into the video itself. When you play it in reverse, you can hear, well, I think you can hear, the word August pretty clearly. Now August is the eighth month, obviously that's passed two months ago, um, but it may not be talking about August specifically, it may just be referring to August as the eighth month, um, in which case October is also the eighth month, but not on the Gregorian calendar, on the Roman calendar. Originally there were only 10 months on the calendar, um, with January and February not being included, which made October the eighth month of the year. So if we are looking at August and the number eight as a reference to October rather than August, well, that's the month we're in. So um, the way I've been looking at it is if the uh, roots and the shadow of the um, roots connect and form the number eight, and that is a reference possibly to October, then what potential date specifically could um, this event take place? Um, and I think that may come from the seeds and the empty space um, where another seed should be. So I've looked at it and I've said, okay, there's two on one side, one on the other. That could give us a reference to number 21, or if you reverse it, number 12. Well, the 21st of October and the 12th of October have passed and the event that I'm talking about here with the collapse of the volcano generating a tsunami has not occurred. So I can put those interpretations out of the way for now. Um, so I decided to look at it another way. Instead of separating the seeds um, into two and one, what if I take the two seeds on that side and the one seed on this side and put them together to give us the number three? Um, and then you've got one empty space 
uh, which could give us a number one. Um, so you could have a reference to the 31st of October, but also with the same kind of um, breakdown, three seeds on one side, instead of looking at the empty space as a reference to one empty space, you could just look at it as three, zero. So it could be a reference to the 30th of October. So we now have the 30th and the 31st as potential dates, both in October. Um, after that, if you ignore the eight in the middle, you then have a reference to two seeds on one side, which I'll draw as one, one, creating the number 11, um, the dividing line just here. And then you've got zero and one. If I put all of those dates together, the 30th of October, the 31st of October, and the 1st of November, that's con uh, what was the word I was going to use? Uh, concurrent. Those are concurrent dates, one after the other, the 30th, 31st, going into the next month, the 1st of November, where I think that this potential uh, scenario could take place. Obviously, it may not, but it's something, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's something to watch out for. Um, things I've talked about in the past along with this uh, scenario and others have talked about as well um, is the fact that not only does the um, volcano on the apple represent put, potentially represent locations like Hawaii, Italy um, and uh, well La Palma, the Canary Islands um, where the La Cumbre Vieja volcano is located but also the fact that you have it on an apple which is a representation of New York, is where another potential event could take place. And I think that is more connected um, with the darkness that surrounds the apple. Inside the apple is a, is the apple, sorry. The apple itself is within a circle of light, um, which is like a torchlight. When the video is playing, which I will show in a moment, um, the circle of light follows the apple along the ground. Um, suggesting torchlight um, the classroom prior to the apple rolling on the ground goes dark um, emergency lighting lights up in the form of red um, and you can see the emergency exit in the background so again that suggests some sort of uh, blackout or some scenario where the electricity at least the lights um, are not working um, so let me go back now and uh, play that portion of the video Again, if you've got the volume up, I suggest you turn it down just so that your eardrums aren't, you know, busted. If you've got headphones on, the audio of the video tends to be louder than the audio of my voice. So I'm just going to play it now. A little bit more. So you can see there how the light followed the apple along the ground and the apple rolls along. And if the apple does represent New York, um, then I think that the rolling of the apple um, is a kind of different depiction of what we see later in the video, um, which is the sort of swirling weather pattern. I'm going to play the video just to get on that page. So again, just turn the volume down if you've got it up. So you can see this swirling pattern um, above the Statue of Liberty. Um, which is located in New York. So we do think that the weather anomaly that they're depicting here um, is associated with New York, or at least with the East Coast. Um, you see the torch that the Statue of Liberty is holding uh, breaks off and falls away. Again, that's another potential suggestion to the lights going out. Obviously, the torch is a light that the Statue of Liberty holds. Um, in association with that and kind of in connection with the dates I've talked about, the 30th, 31st of October and the 1st of November, we have some events taking place um, around New York and the East Coast in terms of weather, um, nor'easters, um, which are basically storms which have like a circular uh, structure. You can see just here um, in the report from AccuWeather, the first nor'east of the season may become the third bomb cyclone in a matter of days to affect the continental United States. The previous uh, bomb cyclones have affected the West Coast. Um, but the issue here is that 
um, nor'easters can undergo rapid intensification, um, which is what they call uh, bomb genesis, um, then turn it into a bomb cyclone. So with that cyclonic pattern uh, from bomb cyclones, we could get a rapid intensification, excuse me, we could get a rapid intensification of the nor'easters around the east coast obviously you saw there new york was one of these uh, one of the states that were affected um which then could turn into a bomb cyclone and uh, obviously the weather pattern depicted in the ipet go to video just suggests some sort of circular swirling cyclonic uh, weather event taking place um around the same time as kind of the lights go out and obviously we know that storms tend to have an effect on power we get a lot of power outages um, but at the same time as i said we may see the events around Cumbre Vieja take place with the volcanic collapse and the tsunami um, there's a lot of documentaries that have been made about the potential collapse of La Cumbre Vieja and the tsunamis that will be generated um, across the Atlantic so it could be that the east coast of the united states is affected the united kingdom and uh you know various other countries that are located in and surround the atlantic basin so that's something to just watch out for um in terms of the volcano again in terms of collapses and stuff like that we've been talking about uh, this report from the evening standard just says that the la palma's erupting cumbre vieja volcano a giant lava fountain as part of crater collapses now obviously crater collapses are something that could lead to a, a bigger collapse of the flank of the volcano um, previous reports have established that the flanks of the volcano are pretty weak um, so further um, more intense eruptions could lead to that potential scenario where the flank collapses into the water that surrounds it generating that tsunami that so many documentaries and videos uh, like mine have been focusing on so i just want to read a little bit of the report new lava flows are threatening previously unaffected areas following a partial collapse of the crater a volcano erupting for the past five weeks on the spanish island of la palma is more active than ever officials said as new lava flows following a partial collapse of the crater threatened to engulf previously unaffected areas a powerful new river of molten rock gushed out of the Cumbre Vieja volcano early on Monday obviously that's yesterday for me and today for some of you now the part where it says a powerful new river of molten rock is what attracted me to this report and sort of encouraged me to make this video because we do see I'm just gonna try and go back to that part with the apple there we go because we do see, as pointed out earlier, that on the apple we have what appears to be a large uh, molten river. Um, obviously, we can't tell if it's off rock, but <clears throat> the molten river part is obviously a reference to lava. Um, so we have the eruption taking place. Um, we have the large molten river. Um, so the only scenario left, really in this interpretation is for the volcano itself to collapse gonna play the video again that's what i believe the splitting of the volcano of the apple represents um, and then for the tsunami to be generated um, obviously as i've said where the volcano is located will affect all the countries in the atlantic basin but we do have what is possibly a representation of New York, the circular, the swirling, sorry, the rolling of the apple, potentially representing the bomb cyclone, uh, the torch light that follows it and the darkness that surrounds, potentially representing power outages. And again, over here, we just have the pound coin uh, representing the UK, which is just another one of those countries that could be affected uh, by a volcanic collapse and tsunami generation so that's pretty much the end of my video i just wanted to uh, talk about those kind of short points 
um, but again just to end the video the potential date to watch for or potential dates to watch for um, could be the 31st sorry the 30th the 31st uh, of October and the 1st of November those dates following <laughs> one after the other I was trying to use a bigger word but it just keeps leaving my head um, concurrently that's the word so those three dates following concurrently one after the other obviously the 30th the 31st and the first um, happens in many months it won't happen in November since uh, November doesn't have 31 days only 30 um, but again a reference to December for example December the 30th 31st New Year's um, that's another potential watch area we do have what appears to be an L over here the 12th letter of the alphabet so that could be a 12 you know there's so many dates that you can go into if you start digging even further but for now as we're in this month um, and in connection with the 8 that forms in the middle of the apple potentially representing the 8th month um, but on the Roman calendar which could be a reference to October um, I just want to put the warning out for those three dates the two dates at the end of this month and the beginning of next month you guys I hope that was informative for you um, I'm, I am sorry that it has been a long time but also I'm not <laughs> at the same time um, as I said from the beginning of this video it's very taxing um, and a lot of the things that we've talked about in terms of events you know they appear like they're going to happen and then suddenly they stop you know so it could be that by the 30th of october the volcano stopped erupting and nothing that i've talked about in this video um, is going to happen um it could be that by the 30th of october the nor'easters disappear or they don't rapidly intensify and turn into bomb cyclones through bomb genesis um but the warnings are what I'm about, um, just to alert people to the potential. So with that said, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.